Here I'm asked to use the slope to graph a linear equation, and the equation is y equals negative 2x plus 6. I'm going to start by identifying the vertical intercept, which is the output when the input is 0. So when the input is 0 here, I get an ordered pair 0 comma 6. I can also read the vertical intercept right from the equation because it's the b value. So I'm going to graph that on my grid here. Let me make sure, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I'm going to label that ordered pair. Then I'm going to identify my slope. My slope is the coefficient of x, which is negative 2. Slope is change in y over change in x. I can write negative 2 as negative 2 over 1. So I can get my ratio for my slope a couple of different ways. My 2 is going to be my vertical movement. So I can go down 2, which is negative 2, and write 1. That would give me a ratio of negative 2, change in output, over 1. So I'm going to do that here, down 2 over 1. That is another ordered pair that is on this graph. It has the coordinates 1, 4. I can also get my slope ratio by traveling up positive 2 and left negative 1. That would still give me a ratio vertical over horizontal of negative 2. So if I go up 2 and over 1, I obtain the ordered pair negative 1 comma 8. So I'm going to take a minute and connect those ordered pairs. Remember, I'm going to connect with a strong line that travels beyond the points that I plot. Now, let's put that equation into y equals in our calculator, negative 2x plus 6, and let's use the table to verify the coordinates of the additional ordered pairs that we found. So we found negative 1, 8, which indeed is here, negative 1, 8, and 0, 6 we already had, and we found 1, 4. So by using our calculator and the table feature, we can verify the additional ordered pairs, but the way that we graphed was we used our slope. We used vertical travel over horizontal travel in both the positive and negative direction to generate additional coordinates and then be able to connect them and draw the graph of our equation.